Deuceheads, welcome to another episode of Guy Party. This is beautiful Brad. This is Chester. Mike D. Yeah. What up, guys? Not much. It's fall weather. Feeling good. It's getting chilly out. Mm-hmm. Football, even though it was fucking awful. It has started, yeah. yeah. Bengals got crushed. Did, did you guys watch the game? No. I didn't, but I think it pissed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're was outside. it related? No, no, I was just a little cold, but now I'm a little warm. Yeah. It's getting cold again, though. <laughs> Right on. Yeah, it wasn't a good start. It was my fan- one of my fantasy teams crushed it. Yeah, both mine crushed. Like, literally crushed. Mine both was of terrible. Them. Yours didn't do very well? No. Who I don't do you, know. Who I you don't got know. on your team? I don't know. I picked them off uh, based off their last names. Oh, really? He They're went funny. by ethnicity. He's a racist picker. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few guys that do that in our league. Yeah, none of them have Jewish names. And none of them, and if they're anything under, like, caramel, I'm not picking them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> caramel. <laughs> You're going for the dark chocolate? Sure, we can say that. The, dark, <laughs> the darker, the more athletic. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys have been listening, and I'm sure you have been if you're listening to this one, uh, we have been planning a big party to kind of cap off the summer, Guy Party Fest 2, which... Has now came and gone. Yeah, and I had a lot of, um, I don't want to call it anxiety, but just like I I was curious to see how it would go. Like I I think in the back of my head I'm like, oh, this isn't going to work. Everybody's going to be like, what the fuck? And and it's never going to happen again. But to my surprise, the exact opposite happened. Yeah, it seemed to be a success. Yeah, everybody had fun tossing dildos around. (laughs) And I think a few of the dudes that maybe had hang-ups about you know, grabbing a dildo, got kind of got over it, and yeah, I feel like there was a, a lot of good participation. Well, I had anxiety as well towards the beginning, but at towards like the end, I started saying "fuck it." Whoever shows up, shows up. But the turnout was really fucking good. And yeah, like you it really said, was. Some They're... people I thought wouldn't come came, and they seemed like they had a good time. I know it was your guys' party, but I had no anxiety about it. I figured the worst case scenario would be a smaller group of people and it would be more fun to play with the dildos. <laughs> that, that's kind of how my mentality started shifting. Like, if it's just like six of us, we know we're going to get greasy as fuck. We're going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. But luckily, yeah, a lot of people fucking turned out and, and participated. Participated too. and mm-hmm. it seemed like everyone had a good time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what was your overall gauge, Mike D? Trashed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felt pretty good. Fucking Luke passed out. Like on the ground, yeah. On he, his... he refused to move. <laughs> like yeah. we tried, like let's get you in bed, and he just wouldn't move. It was in his like uh, by his shed where like the gravel is. He's just totally made a pillow out of gravel. Mm-hmm. We had one degenerate fuck pass out like nine thirty to ten o'clock, didn't we? Yeah, that Magic. same degenerate fuck woke up at five a.m. and was wandering around Luke's backyard in the darkness in his socks, drinking and scavenging for Did more. Did he have pants on? He had pants on, but just the fact that, like, there was no light on, and he's just drinking beer, just wandering about, like, what the fuck? Was it at least cold that's, beer? That's, or a, bo- that's like, a booth head for you. <laughs> the random beer he found in the yard. I don't know where he found it or what he had, but he found some. Was he pulling, like, the high school drunk, picking the beer bo- or cigarette butts out of the beer bottles to drink them? No, in this booth head, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's great. And, and I don't I don't care to mention his name, but it's Boozhead Isaac. Yeah. So he is he's a, a very um, dedicated Boozhead. Dedicated Boozhead. Yes. <laughs> Surprised he wasn't wearing like a Transformers onesie or something. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> but yeah, um, do we want to like just talk about the individual events or? Yeah, let's just dive into it from like start to finish. Just kind of go into the weirdness and the events and mm-hmm. the happenings. So, um, our first event was Shot Put. Yeah. Which, have the Shot Put champ right here. Damn right. <laughs> I won that anal douche. Yeah, it, yeah, and, and then uh, we had prizes for all these competitions, but they were mystery prizes, so yeah. they were in a, like a bag that was taped so you couldn't tell what it was, and Mike D picks the fucking anal douche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you still have it? I don't know where it's at, but Luke probably so. took it. He was very interested in that. I would go to him. He's the one friend that could use it. Yeah, for sure. I wonder how many motherfuckers actually took their gifts. Because, I mean, I didn't stick around because I was so goddamn dehydrated. But when I came back, everything was cleaned up. So, I, I have no idea. Well, maybe maybe uh, Luke got himself a few gifts. Yeah, prob- probably. <laughs> or the booze head that was up at 5 a.m. started loading up his car. 
That's huh. true. Yeah, maybe Boo's head Isaac has the anal douches and the dildos. <laughs> we didn't keep the, the dildos are gone too. Uh, there's a few missing, but I, I don't know what the final count is. But he said, there's oh, I'm a sure few at least there's a few of them in trees. But but the bigger ones <laughs> are still there, and that's I guess you know the for next inches. year. Yeah, next yeah. year you need to air tag those bitches and find out who does take them. So yeah. you call them out. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, hey, we'll you took phone. the 36 inch with a sword handle. <laughs> what the fuck's up going on, Shelly? This, yeah, <laughs> this one keeps moving back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I know you got these three, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> You just see it like the little dot, like beep, 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 <laughs> beep. <laughs> we did set up simple games, like simple field day games, but I think we needed like a dildo race, like a, a coochie rattle and dilly womper race. We can all get vibrators. You can hop them up if you want, change batteries out, and we just like lean a table and race down it like a fucking. Uh, what's it, Boy Scout slot car derby? Yeah, or whatever. yeah, I can see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, the, the one thing though, like I feel like we've learned maybe going forward. I, I don't know. We were talking about changing up the whole theme for Guy Party Fest three, but probably less events because I mean it, the, the heat didn't help. But and they all don't have to be physical events either. We can do like some trivia or like spin the wheel or, yeah. or some kind of like mental competitions i think even physical was fine but like you guys had the weenie races where it was like the wheelbarrow race you had to get the dodos in your mouth Mm -hmm. you know what by the time that happened i was fucking hit i wasn't going to try to carry anyone and no one's gonna carry my fat ass so yeah but we still had enough participation that it was fun yeah i mean every event was pretty full it wasn't like another thing i was worried about it was just going to be you luke and i and maybe one or two other people fucking doing these events but mm-hmm. we had full fields <laughs> on everything yeah yeah for sure so and it all cool. did fly by I yeah, mean, it, it did very, but but okay so shot put mike d1 anal douche and then we did javelin yeah <laughs> which i think with the um the 18 incher right yeah that was with the 18 incher the one thing that we didn't really talk about was like um, like having like an out of bounds rule, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and some of those went flying like deep, but like way off. Yeah, totally way, way off bounds. center. But but yeah, we didn't set up really any guidelines. Yeah, and it was hot as fuck too. And then like as the crowds came in, and it made our time constraints really crunch. So we couldn't really like we did end up scrapping one event, I think. Right? Yeah, but we also weren't able to do like three turns as more and more people showed up that's it was true. kind of like process of elimination right 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 yeah so um dildo javelin i mean that went reasonably well yeah the, the first two yeah i mean everything went really well mm-hmm. but uh yeah javelin was dope i think uh steph's kid dale won that one he did he won a couple of them yeah, he was like Mr. Athletic that night. I never thought I'd hear mom yell at her kids to bring me a fucking bigger dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, bring me the biggest fucking dildo over there. <laughs> Do you remember who won what? Like, what did he end up winning for that event? Because uh, you and uh, Amber made all the... He won the toilet paper, I think. Did he win the toilet yeah. paper? Tom didn't try to fight him for it? I don't think Tom was... Was he there yet? He, sh- I think he he won the uh, the field goal, or he did win field goal, but I forget what he won. Yeah. from it. At that point, I was just like getting really fucking overheated. I guess. <laughs> were you doing any of the events? Did you participate? I did most of them. I didn't participate in Peter putting, but I did Peter putting. I actually either me or Amber won it. But nobody got it in the hole, so that's one next year that we need to tweak if we're going to keep it. Yeah, because I think Kelly was, she got the tip over the hole, and the last I heard before you guys had won it, like, that was the closest to it. Mm -hmm. And then I think one of mine went in and out real quick. It went over the hole, but for some reason didn't fall into it. It was, yeah. I hate when that happens. (laughs) (laughs) Usually it bends and hurts. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, usually for me it is in and out, because... It's, it's, it's one, I'm a one pump man. Same here. <laughs> if you're lucky, you get three. Yeah. So we had shot put, javelin, and then what was the third one? Was it Peter putting? Uh, it might have been. Um, and then we, I know we did diving for dongs. Diving for dongs, which that was that turned out the, to be a little different than I even I thought we were gonna play it, which worked. 
I thought it was like we're going to take a bunch of little ones, toss them in, and then. But they didn't sink, and they. Were but they floating. didn't sink. Yeah, that's right. So, so we, we had, had to rework tweak it. it. Yeah. So basically, with uh, diving for dongs, we reworked it to where the people in the pool, we were going to throw a dong in, and they all had to wrestle each other and get the dick and cross it over like the goal line, which the goal line was the deck. The deck. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of interesting. I thought like some titties were about to pop out. Not sure if they did because I was like at the back end of the goal line. I didn't see any titties that day. Nah. But um, I thought there would be a couple fights too on that one. It, it was it was getting aggressive. It was funny watching it though. Mm, yeah. Like they're all dunking each other, wrestling for fucking dildos. Or, I guess it was one dildo, right? We did. Yeah, it was yeah, one okay. dildo. Yeah. There's a couple times that more than one dildo got put in play. <laughs> yeah, it, so, was, it was definitely a tag team going on with it. The original concept was if they would have sank, we were going to throw in like five or six, and you had to dive in. And whoever got the most yeah but with them floating and they all floated yeah. like even the bigger ones we had to rework that one which i thought that was um pretty great but that that actually came after uh the home run derby uh, the home run dildo you're or right i forgot about home run derby and i thought that one was pretty funny home run derby may have been the third competition i think it was and, yeah and then we did peter putting and then yeah. uh, and then i think the pool one yeah because for dongs yeah i remember i sat out on peter putting because uh you're hot <laughs> yeah I was, oh, dude i was i was smacked man. oh yeah it was, it, was a, it was a scorcher of a day so it was shot put javelin home run derby peter putting peter putting diving and then for diving for dongs <laughs> and then what was after that the weenie barrel we, yeah because i remember like people I, I don't know like we took a break for a bit mm-hmm I don't know why, or, but we took a break. So it, we ended up having to eliminate one. Mm-hmm. I think the Phallus 500 or some shit. Or. That was, um, did we eliminate that one? Yeah, yeah, that was the one that was going to go around. We did um, do the uh, the one where that you stick the dick between your legs and pass it on. Yeah, well, that was the Phallus but, 500, but right? We, but we tweaked it. We yeah, tweaked instead it. of going all the way around, we just did it in some cones in a smaller area because... And I think that was for the best because people were dropping those dongs left and right. Yeah, the original idea was we were going to run around Luke's driveway and uh, teams of three, which we kept teams of three, but we shortened the field and we made it straight. Right. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I think people were, like, getting drunk and fucking getting hot and just just rather bullshit than do events, at least from what I could gather. So, um, I don't even remember who won that one. I don't either. Do, Do you recall, Mike D? I don't. I think it was one of the girls, though. Um, Leanne won, I think, something. She might have won Diving for Dongs. She could... was um, she was cleaning up in the uh, Home Run Derby, and then uh, the Dave, Dave decided to participate, and, and Dave's our athletic buddy. so mm-hmm. And he's just like, home run, home that run. That man can run. whack it... a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's <did> really good. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think Dave let Leanne take it. And then Tommy Gilpin showed up for the uh, oh, the field goal. The yeah. field goal. Yes. And he was like, I want in on this. I'm like, Tommy Gilpin, of all motherfuckers, wants to do an event with dicks? And he was all about that field goal shit, in which he ended up fucking winning yeah, that one. Yeah, he did win that one. And I, I forget what the prize was. He got, he might have gotten maybe some of the weed stuff, the weed edibles. But Probably. you could tell he didn't really care. Yeah, he came for the toilet paper, but I guess that one that already. That one had already been taken, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think there were any other household items. <laughs> so, uh, I know with the field goal, we kind of went, um, at that point, there was a lot of people playing. So, we did, if you made it, you advanced. If you missed, you had one kick and you were eliminated. Right. Most people were punting it, but Dave was actually doing it like field goal style. Like like having somebody hold it? Yeah. <laughs> like the tip? He, yeah. He had da- a little Dale. I, I was thinking, like, we should have gotten, like, you know how, like, uh, kickers will have that little thing that they put up, like, yeah. that holds it instead of a person? <laughs> we should have gotten that. Yeah. I feel like that one was a hit. Like, we could oh, yeah. bring that one back. We should totally bring that one back. For the field girl, I'm just happy my shoe went higher than everyone else's dicks. Oh yeah, you did lose your shoe, didn't you? <laughs> yep. I didn't. I didn't pull a uh, fucking muscle this time. That was that was a positive. When we were practicing the the dildo field goal, I fucking pulled a muscle in my leg. <laughs> but yeah, that was good. Props to Amber for setting up the photo booth. We had some fun with that. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. That looked really cool. And then uh, we had the. Uh, inductee ceremony. Yeah, which, which that was fun. That was fun, and for those of you who didn't make it there, our new Guy Party Hall of Fame member, 
is Junkie James. Junkie James, White James. White James, yeah. Maybe I mean, uh, one of these times we can like nominate Black James and yeah. get both <laughs> James in the Hall of Fame. So who all is inducted into the Guy Party Hall of Fame? How many as members? Of, as of right now, uh, real people, Luke and Junkie. Yeah, like we did um, fictional character, fictional character, and like real life, person. like celebrity kind of. Has or, anyone or, reached out to get one of the celebrities just to see if you could possibly pull it off? I mean, the only one that's in there right now is Danny McBride. Well, uh, ask Kenny Powers. Oh yeah, no, that, the actual, uh, that's true. Timothy Leary, Timi- the guy yeah. that kind of discovered acid. He's but, probably dead, right? Yeah, he's he's long gone. Yeah. But uh, dude, that would be cool. Like if somebody that's still alive, like, hey, we just inducted you in this. <laughs> Hall of Fame. Would you be willing to come to Ohio, Milford, Ohio, and accept this uh, trophy? <laughs> we'll, we'll cover up the six dollars and a twelve pack of travel expenses. Yeah, <laughs> we got to find some like D list celebrity that might actually give a fuck, dude, for real, like, like Andy Dick or something, or Kelly Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, or, somebody who's still boozing. Or what about one of the the Corys or whatever from the eighties? No, oh, yeah, Corey Feldman. Yeah, because the other one's dead. Or the kid from Terminator 2. He's uh, pretty hard up. Might life, be able right? to get him. Uh, what is his Eddie name? Uh, Furlong? Edward Furlong, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. <laughs> I could totally see him rolling up. <laughs> like, hey, it's Edward Furlong. Like, uh, when Phil showed up, it's like, hey, it's Phil. <laughs> Don't know any guys, it's Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Shows up in, like, a beat-up, like, 1992 Geo Metro. Backfiring and shit. With flames spray painted on the side of it. Absolutely. Not actual flames, just the word flames. <laughs> then I would just think he was a fan of the Calgary Flames, the hockey team. Yeah. <laughs> he does got a face for hockey. And I don't know about you, but it seemed to me like Junkie James was just super, like, happy. And, like, you could just tell, like, when we put the jacket on him, like, like he's not used to winning. It made his year. I think so. I think we made the right choice. Like, I do, I, too. I feel uh, all those motherfuckers on that board, he deserved it over every one of them. Not just deserved it, but he appreciated it more than any of them would have. Yeah, that that dude is giving me goosebumps because he actually gave a fuck. Like, it was right. awesome. And yes. James, if you're listening, you're the fucking man. You deserved it. But, uh, yeah, like, Jill even texted me the next day. She was like, dude... James had a smile on his face the rest of the fucking night. And I was like, fuck yeah, man. That yeah, is awesome. I know, dude. That's The best part is you know he's going to wear that jacket out. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, he's going to be talking to Like, you know, I'm in the Guy Party Hall of Fame. <laughs> hey, so when I we, hope it gets him laid. For the party <laughs> next year, <laughs> I will pay to get a stupid fucking huge plaque for this kid. Like, You want a six foot tall trophy? Like, yes, I do. Like, he deserves it. Because of... The fucking smile on his face. He deserves the biggest fucking plaque or trophy I can buy him. Mm-hmm. And I will fucking pay good money for it. Because that was awesome. E- eventually, we when we do have, like, the budget, we should do busts. That would fucking <laughs> rule. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, do them, like, when, when we're hammered. <laughs> so, like, the eyes are all droopy and shit. We actually sculpt them ourselves. <laughs> they look like fucking sloth off the goonies. <laughs> They all look the same. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> with that, um, is there anybody that was on this year's thing that we would want to roll over to next year? Because I feel like I already got some noms for next year. So, you know I love Steve Bloom, and his performance at his 50th birthday party was amazing. Yeah. But I hear he has just forsaken his brethren for a chick and at the same time i get it it's pussy but i mean i don't know that's one of those it's like eh. i feel like that should be a guy party commandment like i understand you're getting laid and you're not gonna be around as much but if you're gonna be a, especially a hall of fame member you gotta make time and right. hang out with your booze heads is he a hall of fame member no no, no. no. i don't he think he nominated. ever will be yeah, he was nominated. So our nominees were Sheldon, Bloom, Stephen Dale. Um, who the fuck was the other one? Crickets. So and Jeremy. Yeah. Here's my opinion for the fucking three cents it's worth. So you got Stephen Dale. He, he's like a retired booze head. He like, never was a booze head. Uh, like so, when we say booze head, and I don't mean to cut you off, but like just maniacs, just crazy fucking. Yeah, people. but he, he's calmed down a lot. Like he's, he's he never was. He's still an odd, but he's not. 
Well, I don't know. Like, like his I've nomination was basically because he's a fucking lunatic. Like, he sat up at the party with his mommy all night and would come back and take pictures of him for he could go report back to her. <laughs> well, I get that. <laughs> like, I get That's where awesome. Bloom, he, you gotta pay to play, so he wasn't there, so he shouldn't be able to be inducted. It's not like he was in a hospital or something, he had just... Some, Other a better opportunity for himself. Yeah. I don't know what better opportunity would have been than to get in the Guy Party Hall of Fame at Guy Party Fest 2. I don't know. A blowjob would probably be there. If you had a guaranteed blowjob, you might not have came. No, I would have been there. Or you would have been late. The blowjob could have waited, and if I couldn't have got another day, then I guess I didn't get the fucking blowjob. Guy got, Party. That's right. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I can't speak for Sheldon because I've only met him like once or twice. But I think Crickets is the, the silent boost head. Yes, he, he is. He's the quiet booze head that you don't expect to be the true booze head, but he's he's real life. Yeah. You know, I'm going to throw out a name you might not expect. What's that? Neighbor Chris. I could see that, him being a nom. He came on Stephen Dale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he actually? But, that alone. That's awesome. <laughs> I would agree with that. However, the only thing i got to throw in there is, are you going to set the bar that high for every other inductory? No. That I, you have to come on someone? It's just, like, obviously, like, as the years go by, like, there's not going to be that top tier, you know, first, second, third fucking Hall of Fame members. Yeah, like, so, like, like if you look at, like, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and you look at their, like, first, like, five, ten years of inducting, you're like, oh, my God. Like, these are, like, the fucking greats. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and then it's, like, you get... To a really? point where they're talking about inducting Dolly Parton into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ex- exactly. That's kind of where we're going to end up. Where we're we going to end up there, it, yeah. but we're not. We're certainly not there with just you know our th- our third person. But I feel like with some of the nominees, I would like to present, which I guess we'll, we'll go to a vote to see who makes the like final five. Mm-hmm. But like I, I completely forgot about Faust Baldwin. Mm-hmm. There's like yeah, neighbor Chris. Uh, I would even like to nominate Michael Benjamin. Granted, he couldn't be there to accept the award. He is a booze head. Yeah, so, I mean, and then there's Mike D. Cuddly cuteness. Cuddly cuteness. Uh, crickets, I would like to put back. But, yeah, you know, I, I, I mean. I would take, yeah, I would take Sheldon off. I mean, it, the dude has, like, if anything, like, give him, like, a lifetime achievement award or something. Yeah. But but certainly not booze head. Or, or not Guy Party uh, Hall of Fame, because he has, he's never done anything with Kai Party. Yeah, I don't like think Amber's he's... like I've never even met this dude. I mean, he if if you're just looking at a, like a booze head resume, this dude's got it. Absolutely, yeah. But to be in the Guy Party Hall of Fame, I say no. Yeah, I feel It's like... not the Booze Head Hall of Fame, it's the Guy Party Hall of Fame. Yeah, the Guy Party Hall of Fame, you you've had to I don't want to say you have to be on the the pot at some point, but you've got to at least came to a Guy Party fucking party event or something. Yeah. Right. No. You guys have the Guy Party Hall of Fame, but do you have, like, a standard Guy Party membership going? Something ongoing, standing? No. No. Like a written list? It's just basically, if you party with us and you like to get weird, you're a member. See, what I think it would be a good idea for you to do is just, like, make a Guy Party business card. That would be A membership card. You know, you can start... Like a blockbuster video card? You can start stamping it with, like... (laughs) A little dick hole punch every time I show up at a party. Hell yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> your tits dildo is free. Yeah. Your six party, you get a 12 pack. You know what I mean? I like that. I mean, it would get expensive for me and Chester, maybe, but. So maybe you gotta start charging a party dudes. rewards program. But it might also get motherfuckers to come out and party, which I also threw out the idea, too. I, I feel like. We should have, like, Guy Party get-togethers every three or four months. Maybe not on the scale of Guy Party Fest 2, but it would be cool to get, like, all the, the booze heads together just to fucking hang out for a Saturday night. And, yeah. you know, not waiting two times a year. Like, let's all get together, call it a Guy Party meetup, and, yeah, maybe make the cards and fucking... I'd like to see a Guy Party night out or short road trip. That, too. You, you get the core people together, the people that's willing to spend, willing to cut loose... Everyone throw in like a hundred bucks, get a party bus, and just fucking riot. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like every, it would take more than a hundred a piece to get a party bus. I'm pretty sure. But if we planned it every three or four months, so like say the next one we do is maybe, well, if the Bengals are in the playoffs, January and February start getting messy. Mm-hmm. But um, I like his thought process, though. I mean, one of our friends has a Christmas party, don't they? 
I don't think we've had one of those in a couple of years. Maybe do a guy party Christmas. Yeah. I'd like to see that. I mean, I'm down with that. And, I, and I, like everybody bring like fucking like sex toys and do like a little a elephant. White, a white elephant. Yeah. yeah. And but, then maybe there we can, um, I've got a laminator. Maybe we, we could like, all right, uh, that will be where we make the membership cards. Yeah. <laughs> like if you want to become a member, we'll make these cool little cards. We'll get you a photo. And then uh, we'll, we'll do the, all the fonts and whatnot and laminate the cards. And at the next party, we'll hand them out. How many people do you think should be a Guy Party Gold member? Like, the ones that are there for most of the stuff, the ones that are routinely there around. I, I mean, if, if that's what you're saying gets you gold, I wouldn't say we should put a cap on it. Yeah, because it's hard. Cause no, I'm saying, like, right now, what's your core? Oh, right now. Yeah, I mean, like if you I, I thought you meant, like, say right there's now. never more than five at a time or something. But no, no. no. Um, <laughs> I mean, you'll you'll see you'll see people at parties, and you'll see them a couple of weeks, and you might not see them for months. Like just how old we are, that's it's kind of difficult to really, I don't know, coin that. I guess on the subject of cards, that'd be pretty cool to like have a guy party like booze head trading card pack, like with our pictures and like booze stats on the back. Yeah, like all the fucking big heavy drinkers. Yeah. <laughs> well, the reason I ask this is I do some stuff for, like, Shriners and Masons and stuff, how they have, like, the different levels and everything. Mm-hmm. I, I can do, like, the legit brass name tags, like, black and brass engraved. You could have the legit members, like, the solid gold membership card engraved. I don't know how we would go about that. I would feel like to be a gold member... Uh, yeah, we, we don't party at the same clip as we used to. I, I would say at least make it to six a year. I mean... Well, I'm saying, like, you two and you got, like, two others that are always partying with you guys that are pretty much the lead crew. If something's going on, they're involved with it. We'll see. Like, I, I see Chester every Thursday, but I don't really see him on the, the weekend battlefield but a couple times a year. So, I mean, it's just, like, how do you pick who, like, what, what are the qualifications yeah to... but he's like the kentucky chapter i don't know but yeah, that's like what we're trying to figure out like how how would you do that i don't know and, and maybe we should put some perks in there like when you get to gold like you're handed like a picture of luke's penis or something like that <laughs> well i don't know we want we probably want to make something like worth earning <laughs> <laughs> you know the sad part is during your guys' party that scavenger hunt had Luke's dick, and that was the hardest item to get a hold of. Which was weird. And shout out to Shelly. Thank you for that scavenger hunt, because that was pretty fucking cool, too. That was a fun one. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone work that hard to see Luke's dick. <laughs> yeah, I know. And fight All for you it. had to do is stick around for a while, because it came out. Yeah, it, it was out quite a bit towards the end of the night. But <laughs> there was a lot of dicks that wound up coming out. Yeah, there's one of the uh, Hall of Fame picture where you've got your dick uh, draped over Luke's shoulder. <laughs> yeah, and everyone laughed because it's the most tan part of me. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a little fucking unwashed goddamn. <laughs> I don't even know, but yeah. <laughs> Might not be able to hit a bottom of a tuna can, but I'll fucking smash the sides. <laughs> I really, I want to revisit that though for some sort of like. Um, leveling up membership card that is a great idea though so so where do they start do we have like a platinum that's like reserved for like i don't feel like anybody should start out at a gold unless you're a hall of fame member see that's the thing though that i was thinking where you're talking about indoctrinating people and who you should unless someone does something completely fucked up stand out like the guy that beat up like 15 cops why he was jacking off on meth you need to fucking induct that guy no holds, just straight up fucking get him to come to the party. Yeah, but whose house are we inviting that guy to? I'm not mine. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> no but something like that, like if someone does something like that, yeah, jump him straight to inducting a guy party. But you got to have your gold card before you can get the inducted. initial membership card should be brown. Yeah, <laughs> just because nobody wants to be brown. Yeah, That's I'm racist. being Cleveland brown, by the way. Not not. Any racial shit. <laughs> I should clear that up. That's not a bad. No one wants to be brown. <laughs> is, I'm, I'm trying to, like, start building this out in my head. Like, all right, so if we do the Guy Party Christmas party, anybody that wants to become a member, we, we take uh, a photo of them, and then we make the card, and then they get it at the next meetup. And then, yeah, we do, like, a hole punch type thing, but they got their face on it. 
And like, if you you make it to so many parties, then yeah, you go to like you go silver to to, or, or silver and then, then gold, gold yeah. yeah. From brown to silver to gold, yeah. or maybe brown to Caucasian. Uh, well, brown. To- <laughs> I hate to say it, but you really need okay, their no, faces no, on no, it. Now it's gone racist. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you really need their faces on it? Like, do you have to really check? Like, you're checking an ID to get into a fucking titty bar. Like, you know these motherfuckers. Do you, like, you need their picture. Really? I just think it would be funnier and fuck. Like, you got this laminated, greasy ass picture where you're half wasted and your fucking eyes are all cockeyed and it's, you know, just like a professional looking thing. Divided into classes. You got the drunks, you got the quagmires. No, what, what I want to see is somebody take their uh, Guy Party membership card and try to use it as, like, real ID at a bar. Or at, like, yeah. the airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, you get, like, a, a... Oh, I forgot my driver's license, but <laughs> yeah. here's my Kai Party membership card. Does this <laughs> work? <laughs> <laughs> it's all fucking, like, stained and shit with vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Laminated with jizz. Yeah, it's just crusty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, th- that's something. Yeah, that's we'll a, have to I, work, yeah, we can work totally out. Look, work. I think um, Ember has a laminator. I yeah, I, I've got one too. There so you go. Um, we just got to figure out how the card works. I think it'd be funnier and fuck if your face was on it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So if somebody wants one, should we take a picture of them or just find the most fucking degenerate picture of them that already exists? So let's set this now because we know Luke is down and the the dude's sanctuary is basically the guy party compound. A guy party Christmas also is where you you come fucking get your goddamn guy party ID card and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what would be really cool but I'm sure beyond our abilities... You know how, like, um, when you take, like, a like a $20 bill or something, and, like, you hold it up to the light, and you see, like, the little, like, ghost image of uh, Jefferson? Mm, like, if on the, on the, uh, like, yeah, the membership card, you hold it up, and, like, you see, like, a little ghost image of Luke's cock or something? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. So, I guess Luke's cock is, like, our American flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you get a big, a good picture of him? We can make a banner. Oh, God. Um, uh, yeah, I that think I... a dope idea to make a flag, though. Yeah, I, I don't know if I necessarily want to spend 50 bucks to have a flag of his cock, but... Uh, no, not of his cock, but a guy it. party flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something we could, like, fly and, like, Yeah, totally. If like, it's not Luke's dick, I'm not throwing like 20 bucks to it. It's like the dick, like, the American flag or something in, in it. Yeah, I need to get crickets to come up with, like, something. Can't you just use, like, the new pride flag that has, like, all the different rainbows and the countries that hate the people and That's a good throw idea. a dick on it? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to think about on that one. I don't know. Like, what would our colors be? Orange and black. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who day? And maybe some blue for, like, the skyline, you know? And FC Cincinnati. Yeah, well, fuck soccer, but... <laughs> Oh. Hey, they're, the, they're 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 our best team right now. Well, but through the six years we've been doing this, there's been a lot of Bengals talk and there's been a lot of Coney talk. Yeah, that's so, true. So I don't know. Yeah, some people would rather put a wiener in their mouth than go to soccer. I'm not a soccer guy, but go FC Cincinnati. Like, anyways, maybe it should be like 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 a stick figure image, uh, like like a, like a, a stick figure guy like holding a beer and like. Having a cheese coney like at, like as his dong, <laughs> like gripping the cheese coney right at his waist, so it looks like the cheese coney is his dong. Well, that kind of reminds me of uh, I think you said if the Bengals won the Super Bowl, you get like Burrow riding a cheese coney. Mm-hmm. And do you remember talking about that at all? I do. I totally want to copy you, and we're gonna get like bro tattoos and get the same guy. No, I'm in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And get like a little guy, maybe guy party on the side of the cheese county or something. There some you shit. go. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, flag would be cool. And Mike D, the membership cards. Now I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna have to try to make that shit happen. I like it. I'll give you so, a that. all right, we start at brown, and then how many parties to get to go to silver? I'd say uh, if, five. If, if we do our little meetups, at least four, uh, five a year. But yeah, so like. If we want people to climb quicker, yeah, five. Or maybe we should make it a thing where, like, at the end of the year, like, like when we do our Guy Party Christmas party, like, you present your card, and if you have enough holes punched, you get to go up a level. Yeah. I might not have a... I don't really have a say in this at all, but my opinion of it, I think you guys are missing out on the real booze heads 
we're at the age where you have the boost heads that might not be able to make every party. Mm -hmm. But when they are there, they're fucking game on. Mm -hmm. Everything's lit. They're the life of it. They're the ones that jacked off in the fucking cheesecake and then puked in a pool. Well, how about this then? Taking that into consideration, if some if somebody comes to a party and does something like fucking awesome like that, they get like an extra hole punch. Yeah, thing. like do something that you you know you're gonna be talking about and till the day you die, like Steve Bloom drinking stripper urine or right, right, right. Like you get like an extra like punch. Yeah, yeah. But, you but get you two can't or three like, extra punches. Or something. It has to be on the fly. You can't like set the standards like. Oh, yeah, no, if, no, yeah. no, absolutely if not. If you drink stripper urine, you get this level. No. It's got to be a thing where, like, a few of us, like, you, me, Luke, or whatever, like, we huddle up and we're like, yo, that was dope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, you don't want someone showing up and f raping Luke's cat just because that's on the list. Exactly. But if someone winds up having sex with a the cat, they might make the list. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to set any standard. Like, we want it to naturally happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Because if you set requirements, then you got assholes wanting to fuck shit up on purpose. And we yeah. Don't, we don't want that. We want natural debauchery, mm. not it's, forced debauchery. Yeah, it's a, it's a surprise blowjob, but it's not a surprise blowjob when you paid 20 bucks for it. Yeah. Because it's kind of like Luke's cock at this point. It, you just, it, it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm like immune to it. It's like not yeah. surprising anymore. You don't even notice it. It's right. just like, oh, dude's got his dick out. I, I almost feel like he's just like fucked himself. Because now people just expect it. And now he's got all this pressure to show his cock. Yeah, now it's on a, a scavenger hunt list and yeah. he doesn't want to pull it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was told by a couple people that they've seen my dick more than they've seen Luke's. I think Crickets was one of them. Really? Well, I mean, well, there was a time where you were handing out candies of your cock at every party. Which, uh... That I got a, no complaints of it. That's a cool uh, guy party nickname for you, too, which Crickets calls candy him. Candy Cock? Dick Candy. Or candy. <laughs> I like Candy Cock, too. <laughs> candy Cock. <laughs> candy Cock. <laughs> so going forward, you're Candy Cock. <laughs> right. A lot of people had that dick in their mouth. But, I mean, I've, I've just known Luke longer as far as, like, the amount of... The number of times I've seen a particular dick <laughs> in my life, number one is my own, number two is Luke's. So... And I, I don't think it's that... And, and the number three cock is not even that close. Yeah. So I think this would be a good guy party event if people would be game for it, since you mentioned stuff like that. How many of your friends do you think you could identify their dick if it was poked through a glory hole? <laughs> like, could, could you have, like, 12 names on a post that walk through and just tag all your friends? Like, that's Luke, that's Mike, that's Brad. Like, could you go through? Like the uh, glory hole walk of fame? Like, it's just, like, <laughs> dicks hanging out. Like, and you got a post-it note each one. That, that should be, a, like, in addition to, like, the bust of the head... A bust of the cock. Yeah. <laughs> like, and once we have an actual Hall of Fame. Mm. And if there's a tie, it goes in a sudden death where it's the ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Identify the ball sack. Yeah, so, like, yeah, we're making good fucking headways for Guy Party Fest 3. <laughs> and if people are too shy to stick their dick through a hole while standing side by side, maybe we can get, like, an old school Polaroid camera. Yeah, and just kind of put it on the glory hole. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of GP Fest 3, I kind of feel like just to get it out there and really, really get a lot of anticipation about it, I think we should just set the date now. Oh, that, that's tough setting it this far out, but I like but, that idea as well. But if we set it this far out, then people know, like, oh, I want to see that concert, but Guy Party Fest 3. Mm -hmm. Can you get a secondary Guy Party compound for it? And you could seriously just go retarded with it and start passing out flyers to homeless people downtown. That's what I want to do. I want somewhere that we can just... It doesn't matter who shows the fuck up. Like, no worries. Like, we don't have to worry about it. Maybe we should start, like, would have scouring, to be like, auctions for, like, parcels of land. <laughs> yeah, or... or <laughs> Ethel's, man. I think maybe that might be a route because... With that, we don't have to. We can tell everybody and their brother come down here. We don't have to worry about. We could even get Michael Benjamin back. Yeah, like we don't have to worry about. Do you want to put them in the same room though? I mean, last time we did, it, it, magic happened. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of do want to put them in the same but room. That was, that was slow motion magic. Like everyone saw that happening. Everyone's confused. It took so long for it to happen. 
That was a weird. That, it was like, yeah, everything slowed down. Like, yeah, because he couldn't get he the got piss bladder out of shot. First. Yeah, <laughs> if you're gonna piss on someone, don't get bladder right. shot. I was like, man, my dick's not that big. And then he pulled his dick out. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm hung like a horse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> made me feel like. I'm not even going to say it. I thought his micro penis jokes were like fucking. He could have been just shy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it just looked like a head. There was like no shaft. Any booze head listening, we're, we're talking about MB and the golden shower at the uh, Guy, Guy Party, Party Fest, Fest 1. one. Yeah. It was about the size of a mushroom. Yeah. That's giving him credit. No, and just like the cap. Like when you're pulling it out of the bag. Oh, it's yeah, all just shriveled. The cap. <laughs> and, like, you're like, Ugh. if you really think about it. You know it's been covered in shit a couple times? I like having it at loose because we know we can, like, set it up, but I also want to... Yeah, it would be nice to just, like, everybody come. I don't have to worry about who I invite. Just everybody fucking come. Mm. Tell everybody. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that more, I guess. Ethel's would be the place to do it. Because, I mean, the DA reunions and shit were always kind of a, a hit and... Your birthday went over well because they had to call in, like, three backup bartenders. Really? They ran out of shit. Yeah, yeah. And they were talking about how it was so busy, and the only people that didn't like it were, like, the three old people that sit there their whole lives. Mm. And then, like, we could go to the dude's sanctuary for the after party. Doesn't somebody we know have a property where, like, you guys partied in, like, a field or something like that? Like, for Tom Gilpin's wedding or something like that? Yeah, that was his parents' house, but... Oh, well, yeah, that's yeah, not they sold, Yeah, that's okay. not... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basically... It's the dude's sanctuary, or it's the bar. Yeah. Or, like, we rent something, but then that's our whole budget, and that's going to cost us even more than... And I would not dare rent something... Then, yeah, our name's on our it. Our name's yeah. on it. We got deposits, and we can get sued and shit. No, yeah, fuck you. that, yeah. <laughs> like, what do you think Ethel's would think if everyone just showed up with boxes of dildos? I don't know. See, and that's another thing. Are they really going to kick all of us out knowing how much money they would lose that night? Yeah, that's true. I, we paid their fucking rent for at least two months. Dude, night. they made so much money, yeah. Like, seriously. I don't even drink that often. I know I dropped at least 150 bucks there. Yeah, a lot of people spent a lot of money. Okay, so I, I'm totally down to do more dildo games next year, but I, I do feel like we should, you know, change up the theme a little bit. Yeah, if everything's the same, it's you, you got to definitely add and get bigger, better. Right, right. Yeah, and like something different, but maybe keep some of the fun events like the uh, the field goal and maybe the uh, home run derby. I don't know. I guess we could put it out to a vote, like, what was your favorite events, and we, we carry two over. You know, okay. ten years from now, it's going to escalate to who's in my mouth. <laughs> who's That's in the my game mouth? That's we'll playing. <laughs> Chester was at uh, Rob Zombie concert last night. He sent me a picture. He's like, in 30 years from now, there's the last two uh, guy party drunken army members left. There's just two old dudes just sitting on the yeah. lawn chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see them get weird. But, yeah, so knowing that Guy Party Fest 2 was a success and we've got to up the bar, I like the fact that, like, all right, so we're going to commit to three and we know we got to plan it and shit. But, I mean, I don't know if we should pick a date quite yet. I'm fine with that. You but need a petting zoo. Maybe, like, we, we should, like, pick a theme, though. And, yeah. and maybe not even, like, maybe we can put that to a vote. Maybe we can brainstorm a couple themes tonight and then and then start to, like, get some gauge you yeah know, gauge. but before we uh dive more into guy party fest three like i think we covered all the events for two like i mean was there it, anything else that happened that so this, this guy phil our buddy oh, uh, yeah. me and cricket <laughs> showed up <laughs> yeah. which didn't expect him to come and uh was he like weird or cool because I, I know he was like socially awkward but he was I, fine with me. I, I, I didn't notice him being any any weird. I mean, he, he seemed a little shy, but I think, that, that's expected. I think he was good, but he's never partied. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, he, yeah, like, at one point, I, I, saw, I saw a couple people carrying him up from the fire. <laughs> but I also feel like he was an alcoholic because it's like, as he was sitting there unconscious and Dave handed him a bottle of Jameson, he didn't take a sip and go, ooh, gross. He swilled it. But the same token, like four hours into the party he's like dude i'm already on three beers <laughs> yeah which tells me he's not used to drinking so you remember the first couple times you drank and you didn't know your limits you were already hit and it didn't matter you're like someone's yeah. got boone's farm 
That sounds like it tastes good. I, yeah. I, I got to side with Mike D on this one. It did feel like he said he was an inexperienced drinker, and it, it did remind me of like a first time drinking. But also, there's a picture Luke took and posted in the Guy Party uh, Facebook chat. If anybody's listening and it's not in there, uh, we've got a Guy Party group chat. Please join it and post and actually contribute. But uh, there's a picture of him, and he's passed out in his car. He puked all over his car. But if you zoom in, you can see the cooler is open, and it's just full of empty beer cans. <laughs> like he but just... are they his beer cans, or he just grab a packed cooler that just filled full of beer cans? True. But also, like, we're, we're chilling there, and, like, it was the end of the night. We're about to, like, wrap things up, and everyone starts passing around gummies. And Crickets is like, here, Phil, you want a gummy? And I'm like, no, no. You took the gummy, and you fucking gave the bastard a gummy. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. But I want to send a shout-out to neighbor Chris, because I was like, I was so exhausted. I didn't want to deal with him and have to babysit. Thank you, neighbor Chris, for babysitting Phil. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. You think he jerked off on Phil, too? He probably did. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a new uh, fucking habit now. Yeah, he just jer- jerks off on dudes that are passed out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the one man the cocky ca- captain. <laughs> to get his fix, he just goes downtown and looks for, like, sleeping homeless people. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna help him out. He runs into the car and starts fucking jerking off. <laughs> Leaves him five dollars and he runs away. If you're quick enough to jerk off on a dude without getting into a confrontation, that's impressive. Throws like a tip on the jizz. Like, where you can just walk by, take three strokes before they even realize what's going on, and blast in their face. Yeah, yeah. Like that's impressive. That's skill right there. I mean, just think about like. The mental focus you would need just to get an erection in a group of dudes like that, and then to bring yourself to ejaculation while just staring at a sleeping Stephen Dale. <laughs> but, see, I, th- I think you're giving too much credit in that, though, as far as that goes. What if that's his thing? Like, the people that are, like... It could be. The people that are in love with feet or whatever, and they're like, fuck yeah, summertime, all these sandals, I'm going to jack off so much. If you have a weird fetish like that, you can get away with being a weirdo. Because it's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you like, can't get away with it coming on everybody. Like the, like the girls that come <laughs> Steven around. Steven Deal didn't press charges, but a lot of people would. <laughs> like, like the girls that come around, if they they like chubby guys with beards and get drunk and greasy, guy parties are fucking jam. Guy are you party. saying that there's a, a girl out there for him that just likes to be ejaculated on while she's sleeping? Or dude. Or dude. I haven't heard of stories of him trying to ejaculate on a woman. It's just passed out men. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only one, though. But you know what? No one's ever going to call him a bridge builder. <laughs> Do you think there's somebody, like, to match his fetish that likes to, like, wake up and have surprise come on them? I don't know. Try it with the wife. See what she does. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look at this little gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a good night. Yeah. <laughs> Steven's like, Mom, did you spill fucking biscuit gravy on my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you think he tasted it first? I don't know. Oh, like, God. Like you thought he woke up and ate biscuits and gravy and fell back asleep. He's like, mm, gravy. I've got video, like, sort of, like, when it started happening, he, he put on... Luke's Gimp mask, and he had, like, this Christmas sweater on, but he was, like, completely butt naked from the bottom down, and he was, like, running at him, and then you got him, like, fucking sitting over and fucking jerking off. (laughs) So this legit happened. This isn't just, like, a story. Like, this is on video? Well, I didn't get the masturbation on it, but... You did send me a video of him, like, like he, his cock's behind your head, I think, and he's, like, sitting there stroking it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've probably been a fucking victim as well. <laughs> <sighs> this motherfucker's gonna wind up a red dot on the map. Dude, you know he's weird as fuck. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you... you Stephen Dale didn't press charges, but... He Here's could've. the other thing. When you're talking about Guy Party Hall of Fame, like, do you have a cap, like, that goes too far. He jacked off on Stephen Dale. That's fine. That gets him a nomination. I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But he gets arrested for it. Does, does that take him out of the play? No. And also, I kind of really dug the voting factor of it. So, like, you've got to earn your spot to be a nominee. But I love that it went to a vote. Yeah. And it was cool. Like, a lot of people voted. And that was fun. 
I really like that part of it. Oh yeah, I think that I think we keep it that way. Yeah, I don't want to like even though he jerks off on men as they they're passed down. <laughs> like, clearly, he would probably be the next Hall of Fame member, but it's got to go to the vote. And for the picture, like. Should we ask Stephen Dale if he's willing to recreate it for to get a picture to put up on the board? Shit, Steve. <laughs> I don't even know if Steven's going to make it on the 2024 board. Here's the question, though, and what does this say about the whole group? We're telling the story about him jerking off on a dude that's passed out, and everyone's laughing. If he pulled that on a girl, every one of us would be like, no, this is not right. Stop this shit. Depends like, on the girl. I don't think I would. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd let it fly with any of them, no, unless I kidding. knew that was her fetish. No, no, uh, no. That that may have been crossing the line a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, it's, it's a good humor. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, like this dude raped somebody. Let's yeah, let's no. throw him up for guy party hall of fame. No. <laughs> but in the same token, though, where you're saying that and everything else, where you, some girl you might let, if some girls at a guy party party. And was like, you know what? I'm going to go lay down with my eyes closed. And if I wake up with jizz on me, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Then Then it's game on. Every guy at that party should go circle around and start jerking Yeah, I mean, it sounds like she wants it and and we would be doing her a favor. Yeah. Would your wife be okay with that? Well, she wouldn't be like, I hope I don't. It wouldn't be a problem (laughs) if I got random jizz on me. No, she wouldn't say that. No, but, but, (laughs) but if you help contribute to it. Like, it wasn't cheating. It was with a group of guys. Right? Oh, it's, it's just Chester and a group of dudes jerking off on Chester's wife. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that one, and I'm pretty sure she is, too. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that as well. <laughs> That's weird, Mike T. <laughs> I mean, candy cock. <laughs> <laughs> I've got respect for her. Now, now I, wouldn't, I would never do that to anybody, but... I don't know why. I guess if it's Stephen Dale, it just is funny to me. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like Michael Benjamin. If he peed on anybody but Luke, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I still was like that, but I mean, I don't know. Like, if he peed on any chick, that, that, yeah, that doesn't fly. Yeah. Chris probably could have jerked off the time it took Michael Benjamin to take a piss. If he would have nutted on his back. That might have been. I remember standing there and seeing him, and we all knew what he was he was getting ready Oh, yeah. To do. I straight up looked at him and told him not to do it. Yeah, I did, too. <laughs> and I was like, this isn't going to end well. But at the same time, I couldn't turn away or try to set him down. I was just like, oh, God. I just <laughs> love, like, the, 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 Luke, the look on Luke's face. Because it's like, he, he got a few driblets on him before Luke realized what was happening. <laughs> and then, like, Luke just, like, sticks his head up, and he's like, 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 like looking confused, like, like, he looks over and starts swatting at it. <laughs> like the cat playing with a fucking toy. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, it's a mommy. ball of string. You see those uh, commercials where it's like, like real life situations where they throw the challenge flag, like in the NFL, like yeah. they throw the challenge flag and they're like, let's see the replay. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh god, I, I wish somebody had a fucking video of that one. You sure crickets didn't get crickets gets a lot of video if you haven't noticed. He does. He got um, blooms. Yeah, he, he, got, he got he got some blooms video. He got some yeah. gummy bear videos in that one too. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's got some of them. Yeah, crickets is like our silent killer. Like he he goes in and videos and. He, he captures some good shit. I think, honestly, Crickets is more guy party than a lot of people realize. He's like, Oh, he is. That's why I like, put him up there. He's like Mike from SLC Punk. Mm-hmm. Like, the big nerdy guy that no one suspects. Yeah. he's a poser. He is. But he's he's the riot. He is not, yeah. Like, Crickets don't talk, but Crickets fucking, he gets down with weird shit, and he, he likes to drink. That's why I fucking, like, I put him up there. I was like, we need one more. And I was like crickets man he's always contributing to shit too he is he he, he made our up. logo and he's been on a bunch of pods why we call him crickets because he never talks on pods he shames a lot the next day but yeah crickets is he's mike from fucking slc punk he really is this is the dude's name right yeah the one smashing all the cars yeah the guy that was, had the glasses yeah. it was just quiet crazy yeah that, that's crickets and let's just give him a little bit of a pat on the back for the fact that he came to Guy Party Fest too, despite his uh, wife's uh, yeah. desire. I invited her because I was like, "All right, you know." She seemed cool the last time we were at, the, at his house, and yeah, she is not a fan of Guy Party at all. How come? 
Oh, uh, because she thinks we're a bunch of faggots. <laughs> well, here's the thing I don't that. get, too. Like, women will have, like, the pure romance parties and everything else, and no one bats an eye. But it get, a bunch of guys went together and have a fucking field day with dildos, and everyone wants to think they're faggots. I think pure romance <laughs> should take a hint from us, <laughs> and the next time they have a pure romance party, just turned it into a field day. Well, that's like, look at the way this one you? flies. Imagine, imagine this 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 dildo flying into your vagina. Well, I told everyone get some strippers and you just like you have to like kind of like cornhole, but with vaginas and a dildo. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. well, people were so fucking nervous about this, and like they were just so weirded out the fact that we, were, we have forty eight dildos. They're like, oh my god, this is the weirdest shit. I'm like, mm-hmm. this is gonna be the funniest shit you motherfuckers <laughs> see, dude. Mm-hmm. It's not like we're gonna have a big gay orgy and we're gonna be shoving dildos in our ass. Like, it's just, it's gonna be funny. And they all came and they realized it was funny. It was fun. Did anyone come that night? Uh, I, probably. I mean, I didn't. I woke up cramped. I think my dick even had a cramp, but <laughs> I didn't come. One thing I wish that would happen, but kind of didn't, is I really wanted cops to show up. Like, all of us fucking middle aged fucks standing in a field playing with I would have made it great, yeah. yeah absolutely. And especially if they're like standing by the car using the microphone, like loudspeaker, like, please set the dick on the ground. And see, like, one of us gets shot holding a dildo because yeah. they think it's a weapon. Not shot, but like tased and maced. <laughs> Maybe a couple beanbag rounds. Oh, you're down there flopping Beanbag like a fish, but you're holding on to the, the 18 inch. You're like, yeah. the fucking thing's flopping around with you. It's just smacking you in your face. Yeah, it just keeps. Yeah. And the best part is, it's all on live PD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they got on the next side, uh, cops. Yeah. Bad boys, what you gonna do? <laughs> it's like taste. Right. I want to see it like when you go to trial. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like we have a, a video evidence A. <laughs> and they, they, they got the field cam, shocking you, and they're yeah. like, uh, "What? What is the relevancy of this video?" And they're like, "None." <laughs> I just Exhibit wanted to A see is it always going to be Luke. Do not take that from him. I, I don't know if you guys have ever been to court. I've been to court a few times for drunken charges. And sometimes they'll have the, the guys coming in from the misdemeanors, like the jail people on the next um, ballot or, you know, for the docket next or docket. Yeah. yeah. And they're all waiting in there in their orange jumpsuits, but they're all like sitting watching it displayed from the video cam. Yeah. They're just blowing you kisses and shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a thick like Yeah, just slap me in the face. You're getting shot. You wind up actually smacking a cop with a dildo and you're sitting in jail. Like, what are you in for? You're like, oh, dude, I didn't even think about that. Like, fucking hitting a cop with a cock and like that. <laughs> you get assaulting an officer. Yeah, he's all like 18 inch dildo. <laughs> he's got the fucking bruise on his face when you go to trial. Yeah, it's a big old, and you see the head imprint. So you're going to chill a coffee for 18 months. It's on court TV. The fucking attorney's walking around, it's flopping. Yeah. The judge is like, I need to see you in my chambers without evidence. <laughs> Bad boys. Bad boys, what you gonna do? If that did happen, just to keep in the tradition of cops, I would take off my shirt before I started running and throwing dildos at people. <laughs> like You always see that, and there was a time where this dude, I, I, I think I've only met him a handful of times, and it was this was ages ago cops came for a noise thing and he just went nuts and just fucking took off his shirt and ran <laughs> like why do they do that you know what i think you need to do reach out to like make a wish find a kid that wants to fucking party one night <laughs> oh and get make a wish to bring you a kid yes. that his dying wish is the fucking party <laughs> captain guy parties in there with kids with cancer <laughs> covered in mom diaper yeah, yeah. <laughs> They can get the picture taken with all the guy party hall of fame members. <laughs> can we write that off on our text? We, we, we give the kid like a little like guy party hall of fame jacket to put on him. <laughs> <laughs> like when you die, that comes back. <laughs> we got a budget, kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're the tenth kid we've given this to today. <laughs> The fourth one had red for C. You might not have as long as you thought. <laughs> <laughs> See, they need a Make-A-Wish Foundation 
for older people, not just kids. And then, like, these, like, 45-year-old dudes who have, like, prostate cancer can come and party with us. Yeah. That's perfect. Why don't we just go to a fucking retirement center then, walk around, find the old nom vet that's fucking crippled, hunched over, and be like, dude, you want one last time? We'll get you a stripper. We'll get you some booze. Game on. Guy party gives back. Yeah. Guy party does give back. What would we do if he died, though? I love do we party. continue partying, or does it end then? I'm happy I know it. I think we ask him beforehand what his wishes would be. So it'd be like, all right, look, there's going to be a lot of excitement here, and you are very old and, and not well. If you should perish before the night is over, what would you like us to do with your corpse? And are you game if neighbor Chris jerks off on you? Because it might happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be next level for Chris, right? Oh, like, yeah. Jerking, jerking off, off on, on a That's person. climbing the range yeah. right there, dude. Next thing you know, like, he's going to get, like, a, a super buzz off of that. He's going to start going to cemeteries and digging them up. Oh, God. <laughs> dude, I feel like that could be a potential escalation for him. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ed Gein, Eastgate Edition. Like, he's just entry-level right now into this fetish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just jerking off a of sleeping Steven. Right, right. And, and probably a sleeping Phil. Like, you got to have some type of weird fetish to be able to actually completely rub one out on a passed-out dude. That's what I'm saying. Right. You're looking at Stephen Dale's face. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does that get you off? It's like a bloated dude with a mustache. Right. <laughs> Maybe because he looks drowned because he's so bloated. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a retarded out? Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys. <laughs> what you gonna do? I wonder if you could pass it off. Like, you hmm. divide the party out between the different groups of people and push it as far as you can. Like... Tell one group it's costume party. Tell another group it's a Mario orgy. And just see who shows up and what. That's that, interesting. That would be. If we could get a turnout like we did at Guy Party Fest too. But yeah, alright, so like reeling it back in. I really like the idea of trying to do a Guy Party event every three months. Not maybe on the scale... I mean, if it gets to the scale of Guy Party Fest too, that would be awesome. Can we do it like a committee and like have minutes and stuff like that that we read? What do you mean, like... Like, every time we meet? Like, you know how, like, like committees oh, meet, yeah. like, here to the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go that route, you need to LLC and make it a board of directors. I just want to have fun. Then, <laughs> no, listen, listen I, to I me. think what he's saying, yeah, but it sounds like a lot of paperwork. Yeah. But if you go that route and want to do it every three months, and you have a board of directors meeting, you can have guest meetings, and entertainment, food, and booze is all a tax write-off. That would be cool. Or you become a church. We, we do worship baloney. That's true. Freedom of religion, man. If we could get somebody that got the joke and smart enough and willing to do all the paperwork to try to make us some sort of religion, I'd be all for it. But I just don't have the time or energy mm -mm. to try that. <laughs> no, that's like Guy Party Fest 20. Like By the time that rolls around, if we're still doing it oh, and we're successful with it, then at that point we should have the kind of following that somebody could get us uh, recognized. How old religion. are all right? So uh, guy party twenty. I'm fifty eight. How old are you? Fifty seven or no? Fifty six. Hang on, you're not fifty eight. I'm forty. So in, you'd be sixty in eighteen years after guy. I mean, guy party fest two was when I was oh, forty. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. For some reason, I was adding twenty years. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Eighteen years. All right, eighteen years. Um, fifty seven. Yeah. Can you just imagine? Walker races. Oh, my God. I mean, look at Sheldon Peter. How old is he? He's in his 50s. It's and he still it. He still does it. Mm-hmm. Jit, uh, how old would you be at Guy Party Fest 20? Eight, at 18, 18 years, years. To what your age is now. Well, well what's going on? I wasn't listening. You, you're going to be like... How old is he? 16. 16. Yeah, he'd be 34. 34. So oh, that's what we need. We need the youngers to <clears throat> carry it while we sit around and make fun of the youngers. <laughs> I'll carry it. But I don't know. I guess I'll carry that. So, like, I'll, carry the dildo torch. I'll carry the dildo torch. In Star Wars, you had the Masters and the Padawans. Yeah. Like, what do we call the, the youngers of the, the, the guy parties? The dildo ones? The dildo ones. So, we, well, we got the booze heads, and then, like, what do we call, like, a, the younger? I mean, I don't know. Maybe we just saw booze heads. I, I guess it goes back to the level up cards. Is that, no, well, no, that, that makes me a girl. tranny, yeah. yeah. Like, well, it's still funny. I mean,. It, that's what you want to do. We'll support you, but I don't know what when when you're like I'll a young booze head. Like, what do you what do you do? Like, 
Like you drink like what? Like the Bacardi mixed drinks? <laughs> yeah, but when you're 21, you, nice. you you bring the fucking party to where like we're all like fucking dancing around like the old wizard Dan, you know, like vibing off. Maybe the, instead the of like the a, 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 a booze head, a, a Padawan is a booze hard. I don't know. I'm kind of like maybe the, uh, the youngers until they become booze heads. Uh, so I don't know. We'll figure that one out too. We got Younglings. a lot of figuring out too. The younglings, yeah. <laughs> so who's Anakin? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a youngling, man. Uh, <laughs> unless you're uh, well, unless you're Anakin and you're gonna turn, or you're like young Anakin and you're gonna turn into older Anakin and just slaughter all the younglings. Yeah, Anakin's like the one that ends up becoming a tranny and joining <laughs> mad mothers against drunk be. driving and shuts down guy party. Uh. Who's, who's your Yoda? <laughs> Thanks. Do what? Who's your Yoda? Your wrinkly old fuck that's down. What do we look? Right now it's gotta be Picante or yeah, something. Yeah, for sure. Faust Baldwin. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think if you'd have Guy Party Fest or monthly meet or you know, every quarterly meetings or whatever somewhere. I think you need to be prepared to at least give first timer cards to the people that might be there that might not even be part of it. That oh, you might just yes. run into and be like, You are a party well, animal. Yeah, yeah but absolutely. the thing is like they wouldn't have pictures. Yeah, if you want to get a picture, anybody that comes is so instead well, of I think picture, what he's saying is have the cards ready to oh, get to them. But that's the thing. You can have the cards ready and instead of a picture just bring an ink pad and put a mushroom stamp on it. I don't. I don't know. This if is you another can talk a stranger and put a mushroom stamp on a card, or just maybe like a generic <laughs> picture in there, like where the face would be, and like when you when you get to like the real level, like membership, your your actual face goes a drunk on there. Guy puking or something. Right. Right. Like like a pile of feces or or like just a beer or, or or something like just something that like if you had to sum up guy party in one picture, one little picture. That could fit on an ID. Stephen Dale would come on him. Like, I, I know we celebrate Cox a lot, but I also kind of want to make it more enticing for other people to want to come party with us. Because, yeah, like, the Cox scares people off, but at the same time, like, once you get in and you realize, like, we're just doing dick and fart jokes... It's fun, like just like the guy party fest did with the dildos. Like so many people were scared of the cocks. I just I feel like cocks just scare people off. Yeah, yeah. Like no, maybe it should be it should be something booze related. Booze, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Or weed, or like just some sort of inebriation, or type. like the fucking Bengals tiger, or something like that. Or maybe like a pot leaf with a fucking beer uh, mug in front of it, or something. Like we celebrate all intoxicants. <laughs> Because it's like I told James, it's like, because James ain't a big drinker, but he, he is a bud smoker, and it's like, we celebrate all inebriators. Or know. maybe like, a, like, like there's, I, I hate to go again, back to a stick lines, figure, man. but stick figure with titties and a dick and like holding two mugs. Cox. Just three dudes doing the Eiffel Tower and stick huh. figure. Yeah, was, I don't know, but Cox is a big part of it, because like I said, dick fart jokes, but. No, it, it, that's I right. Don't we, scare I everyone just said off. It, sh- it should be booze. It should be booze. Yeah. Related. I, I want to bring people in. I think you need to have different cards, though. Like, not carry a whole bunch, but you got your your booze head, your straight degenerate. You got your different groups. And if we're passing this out to, like, strangers, we're like, man, you you seem like you bring the party here. Like, it should have, like, our details on it. Like, come check us out at, like, guypartypodcast.com. Check us out on Facebook, blah, 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 blah. So, and almost like an advertisement. Yeah, yeah, ex- absolutely. I got to throw something in there, too, and just to... Maybe it's me the way I am, but I think the subtle marketing is the way to go. If you want to slam marketing in someone's face, I I had a service done by a company today, and I seriously got eight texts, two calls, and four emails for one simple service. And I was to the point, I am never doing business with them again because it is annoying as fuck. Well, see, we don't want to be like that either. We just want to make it, let's have fun. You can market it, but do not shove it in people's faces. I try not to. We also want the casual booze head. Booze heads, listening, we don't want you to feel like you have to jerk off on Steve and Dale or fuck animals or roll around in concrete butt naked or whatever the... You don't have to, but you should. Those moments have to come naturally. They can't be forced. If you're a boosthead and you're thinking, like, I want to be in the Guy Party Hall of Fame, I need to do something crazy, 
then you're overthinking it. And not even like the Hall of Fame, but just just the booze head in general. You don't have to do crazy shit. The booze will make you do crazy shit. Well, yeah, but you just just come hang out with guy party and you're a booze head. There you go. Yeah, like you don't have to do anything fucking crazy. Just come Sweet. fucking hang out. Obviously, there there's motherfuckers within the guy party realm that do crazy shit. But just because we do doesn't mean you have to do that. You, you're more than welcome. And we accept you as booze heads. You know? I think what he's trying to say is, even if you're third string, you're still on the fucking team. Exactly. That's Basically. a good way to put it. Yeah. 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 You smoke weed and you sit there and you, you giggle at the, the fucking guys collapsing. You're a booze head. If you're fucking collapsing, you're, you're a booze head. Like, you know what it makes me think of? If you're sober, you're a booze head. <laughs> if you party with us, you're a booze head. But anyway. No, no, no. Right on that, right? You ever watch Revenge of the Nerds? Yeah, but it's been a minute. Okay, at the end of it, right, they have this whole big thing where, like, the the jocks go in and just, like, trash the nerd's, like, house. Mm -hmm. And then there's this, like, big, like, um, bonfire, like, pep rally thing. And they, like, the main nerd, uh, Gilbert or whatever, he comes up and he, he makes this speech. And he was like, you know what? Maybe at some point in your life you were picked on or made fun of for something and you just didn't feel like you belonged and if you've ever felt like that please come up here and join us yeah and then all of a sudden like all these motherfuckers are up there and it's like oh shit we're all nerds yeah it's like that with booze heads yeah because <laughs> guess what we love the party we love the party like rock and rollers but at the end of the day we're a bunch of fucking nerds and we just like to have fun yeah and, and, and we don't like to take I mean, I, I try not to take things too seriously. Mm -hmm. I, I try to keep a light heart. But, and, and I think that's what being a, a booze head is all about. Like, we get, like, fucking one life here. Yeah. Uh, presumably. <laughs> and, yeah. And so, why not make the most of it? Just like, have fucking fun. Does Church of Baloney Man believe in reincarnation? No. We just believe in inebriation. Inebriation, yes. Yeah, and then basically, if you ever dropped acid, we believe you become energy into the baloney man to keep fueling the future booze heads. And if you're a piece of shit, you come back as a urinal cake? Yes. So, like, uh, booze head Isaac and booze head Stephen Dale will be urinal cakes. If and that, probably if, booze head Chris. If, if that's the, I was going to say, if that's the case, what does Chris come back as? <laughs> <laughs> Chapstick. <laughs> I was going to say the pad that the urinal cake sits on. But, yeah, I, I mean, that's, yeah, I, I mean, there's there's a uniting thing there that you don't even have to drink or party yes. to appreciate that. It's just, like, the idea is that Have fun. Have fun. Yeah. And, and, yeah, life is too short to, to just be so... So, Negative. So, yeah, like, any booze has us listening. Like, yeah, we got older. We understand. A lot of you Our bodies are, won't let us party like, the, yeah, like we used to. Yeah, but it, it's about having fun. So show up to the party sober. We don't care. And being lighthearted. And, and just have fun. And, and you're mean, a booze head. If we cross the line, I'm sorry. Call us out on it and we'll, we'll fix it if we want to. We're totally <laughs> <you're a bitch. laughs> but, I mean... Yeah, at the end of the day, it's just, it's all about having fun. Guy Party is basically uh, just the symbol of let's get together and have a good fucking time. Sober, weed smokers, drunks, whatever. And, and let's you know, all have fun together. Some of our favorite movies involving partiers had nothing to do with booze. Yeah. yeah. Like, look at, like, Wayne's World. You never really saw them drink. Yeah, no. Yeah. Bill and Ted, never. No, yeah, yeah. They weren't getting drunk. And it was all about just having a good time. It was time. just having a good time, yeah. Just hanging with your buds. Mm -hmm. That is what Guy Party is. Just hanging with your buds, having a good fucking time. Absolutely. Yeah, Booze Head's just the title, but yes, we accept servers. Everyone. Even if you're not drunk, you put a bunch of retards in a the room, there's going to be a lot of hugging. We yeah. like hugs. Well, Mike D, I mean, you can drunk every now and then but for the most part you're sober and you're a booze head right i mean you come to the guy party you shit. appreciate this shit so yeah. i mean <laughs> you, you obviously keep coming around and hanging out so you, you're just about having fun so. and, and i don't think you have to be a drunk to appreciate drunk humor i think it it does give you a bit of insight mm -hmm. 
Kind of like like when you're watching a movie about like tennis, and if you're like a tennis player, you're like, oh, that's a lob, that's a spike, that's a blah blah blah. It, you're like watching Boo's heads, and you're like, oh, that's a chug, that's a vomit. Like, yeah. Like, like, I, I, <laughs> like I've been there. I understand these things. But at the same time, you don't have to have that to appreciate it. Yeah. You can you can still watch it from afar and be like, ah, oh, look at these fucking maniacs. They're just being crazy, and they're not hurting anyone, but they're just having fun, and it's fucking funny. And if you want someone to take you on a journey, we'll show you Candy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Rock uh, cock, cock Candy Mountain? Cock Candy Mountain. <laughs> but, but yeah, like one of our commandments is just like be cool to each other and yeah. party on Be dudes. excellent. Be, be excellent. excellent to each yeah. other, yes. So, yeah. And that's taken from Bill and Ted. Yeah. Be excellent to each other and party on. And I know a majority of Guy Party Fest, too, stayed sober. And we want to thank you motherfuckers for showing up because that meant a lot to us and it was yeah. awesome hanging out with you all. Party on does not mean go get wasted. It doesn't. It can. Yeah, I mean, we but, like to drink, but it doesn't mean you have to drink to hang out with us. Right. A party can be, like, five dudes, like, fucking playing Call of Duty or whatever till 4 a.m. Yeah, it's just... It, it's just hanging with your buds. About, about a bunch <laughs> of dudes hanging... I'll draw a line there. That's not a party. <laughs> it, it was just like, I, I went to a concert last night. I was stone cold sober. I hung out with a bunch of metalheads, and it was like, this is guy party. This is guy party, right? And I was stone cold fucking. And Mike D, I'm going to challenge that because think about when you were like 12 years old, and I don't know about you, but here's me at like like that age, right? Like I'm playing GoldenEye 64 with my friends, fucking eating pizza and eating Doritos and drinking Mountain Dew. That's guy party. Yeah, that's when I was 12, I was skateboarding around, smoking pot, and figuring out who was a gonna get to buy me beer guy that's party. guy party <laughs> that's like, guy party but yeah i mean if, if that's your thing it, it, it doing uh, just hanging out playing video games all the time that's that's totally cool yeah i, I mean it, as long as you're not a dick about it to the people around you but <laughs> yeah just just be excellent to each other and be excellent on, to dudes. each other yes let me just throw this in here real quick the reason i say like i wouldn't consider a guy party if it's just five dudes hanging out playing xbox or whatever eating doritos and drinking pop is that's not actually getting out. That's not living life. That's sitting in your basement, letting your life fade away. But if you're ha- having fun with your dudes, I mean, that's a guy. You're party. having fun, yeah. I mean, I, I understand because I watch my kids do it, and I wish I kind of wish they would have the desire to get out. But I, I think back to their age, and I was like that too. Yeah, I was like home, either watching movies or playing video games. I didn't get out very much. I definitely didn't have the appreciation for nature that I do now. So I, I, I feel like confident that they'll get to that place but for right now that's their guy party yeah that's their their guy party is hanging out with their bros online and fucking like sniping each other and shit like that and really getting into it and <clears throat> they're just having a good guy party yeah, so it's having a good time so you catch them teabagging a webcam all right well on that note <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up i, I just want to thank everybody that's listening that showed up for coming out making guy party fest to a success it was dope. Um, we're doing Guy Party Fest 3. That is happening. I get what you're saying about holding off on setting a date. Yeah, we we'll, will, we'll, we'll wait. We'll set a date. Let, let's just wait until <clears throat> the new year. The new year. And, and then, then we'll set a date. It'll probably be January. June or Ju- July, yeah. uh, but it'll be earlier. Uh, oh, well, but, we'll set a date in January. It'll probably be in July. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't want to name you all, but thank you, uh, especially the girls that showed up. You guys were fucking awesome absolutely you you, you gals fucking participated the gals bright the guy party yeah and i'll I'll shoot one out girl party so thanks 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 for girl partying at a guy party they were just thirsty for those dildos yeah so (laughs) uh we hope to see you all uh, at guy party fest three we're we're gonna have uh more information as you know the months tick by yeah right um, now we're a little focused on um football (laughs) yeah and um we're probably going to try to do, like, a Guy Party Christmas party. Yeah, um, I like the idea of it. I think that's something that we could definitely, like, maybe talk about Yeah, in the uh, next, like, couple weeks and then try to get a date. Yeah, and we'll work on that. Yeah. And um, we hope to see you all there. But thank you, guys. We love you. We, we wouldn't know what we'd do without you. And uh, keep Guy Partying. And until the next episode, Guy, guy-